Today, we'll be looking at a truly special car. This car introduced many firsts to the automotive world, yet when looking back, very few people seem to mention it. This is the Jensen FF, a Grand Tourer that was produced by Jensen Motors, who was a British automaker that began as a manufacturer of custom car bodies and eventually expanded into producing its own cars. The company's innovative use of technology in the FF model made it stand out from other sports cars of the time. I keep mentioning how innovative this car was, but what made it so, well, wow? Well, one of the most significant innovations introduced by the FF was the Ferguson Formula four-wheel drive system. This made the FF the world's first non-off-road all-wheel drive production car. This system used a central differential to distribute torque to both axles. But what made it unique was the use of two one-way clutches that allowed it to divide torque unequally. The result was a torque split of 37% to the front wheels and 63% to the rear wheels, which helped the FF handle impeccably in all weather conditions. The Ferguson Formula system proved to be so impressive that it even influenced the development of other automakers' all-wheel drive systems. Audi engineers are said to have sourced a Jensen FF and dismantled it to study its all-wheel drive system when developing their Quattro all-wheel drive system. Rumors also suggest that both Subaru and AMC drew inspiration from the FF when developing their first all-wheel drive models, the Leone and the Eagle. Pretty insane that this car might be the reason for amazing cars like the Quattro. Another technological innovation introduced by the FF was the Maxarette anti-lock braking system, which was originally developed by Dunlop for aircraft use. Jensen adapted it to work with the Ferguson formula system to prevent the wheels from locking. Although crude by today's standards, this fully mechanical Maxarette system proved to work extremely well and was a significant safety improvement over the traditional braking systems of the time. In fact, the Jensen FF was featured in a 1960s Sport Illustrated article where it was called the safest car in the world. But to me, there is more to the car than just its innovations. I think the Jensen FF was also a visually stunning car. It was nearly identical to the regular Jensen Interceptor with the same elegant Carrozzeria touring design body. However, there were some minor differences between the two including twin vents behind the front wheel arches. The interior was equally elegant with wood grain trims and fine leather upholstery. The car's transmission tunnel, however, was bulky due to the added components of the all drive system, but Jensen designers cleverly incorporated a storage compartment within it, and the cover was also upholstered in leather and acted as an armrest. But what powered this all drive Grand Tourer? Well, under the hood, the FF was powered by a reliable Chrysler 6.3 liter B series V8 engine, which was the go to mobile performance engine in the US until the introduction of the 426 Hemi. This engine was mated to a Torque Flight A727 3 speed automatic transmission, and this combo was rated at a wealthy 330 horsepower, which allowed this Grand Tourer to accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 7.7 seconds, which is really fast for a car from the 60s. But for those that wanted more, Jensen also built a handful of FFs with a 446-pack V8 engine, which was rated at 390 horsepower. Thanks to this increase in power, it also brought the 0-60 to time down to just 6 seconds. In conclusion, the Jensen FF was a groundbreaking car that introduced some awesome new technologies to the world of sports cars. But unfortunately, despite its impressive technological advancements, many people still overlooked it. But let me know what you think down below. Do you like this car? Do you think it's as cool as I think it is? And do you think there's any chance that Audi got their inspiration for the Quattro from this car? Um, that's rumors that I read online. It doesn't mean that they really did take one of these cars and dismantle it to learn from Jensen. So there's no proof behind that. That's more like rumors. But I had to mention it because it is pretty cool and because this was the first. Yeah, but let me know what you think down below. If, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like all of my other stuff. So just go through it. See if there's something else you'd like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?